Yo, what up, my traders? Yup, yup, I did it. I blew up my account, and I have to refund it. I ain't, I, haven't, I haven't lost all my money. I just lost my margin, my my margin privileges, and I have to trade with margin. So, stay tuned. Yo, what up, traders? Back at you with another disappointing video. Yup. So, like I said, like I did pretty good. My first couple of trades, my first two trades were were real good. And I was up about 40 bucks. Probably should just walked away right there. But um, I wanted to keep trading. So just waiting for a pullback here. I really do not want to do this video either. But, you know, got to stay transparent with you guys. So just looking for a little pullback to these little VM, the, the lines right here. And I get a nice little pullback. Got in at 49. See, that was a good trade. I waited. It came back down to some levels that I'm used to trading. And it pops up. Only thing that's not good about it is I don't like how this 15-minute chart looks. You know, you know, it got too much of a wick. Like, it came down. And it already pushed up. I should have been down around the $11 area, like, right here. So, it's, it's like... This thing of it is like this candle, like there's something on top. Like think of think of you being on the bottom and you're pushing this candle up. This is heavy. It could be heavy. You know what I mean? Anyway. So I'm in eleven forty nine. Trying to get another ten cent squeeze pop. And my mindset was pretty good too this morning too, man. From yesterday's loss. Very good mindset. It's just that. Like, when I was up green, like, the, the little bit of money I was up, I should have been happy with that, and I should have just walked away and quit. Like, my count, I'm not at the point where I can keep taking multiple trades, like, four, five, six, seven trades, especially when it's a slow market like this. Like, when the market gives me $40, $30, $40 with my account size, and the shares I'm trading, I need to just take that. Like, I'm not trading with enough shares to be trying to make... A sixty dollar, eighty dollar play in one trade, hundred dollar, hundred dollar trade. You know what I mean? I'm gonna trade three hundred shares, and I'm gonna go for like ten, twenty cent scalps. So my account's too small to take larger share size to hold on longer because I can't really lose that much. Like I lost one hundred and sixty dollars a day, and um, you know I can't, I cannot lose that much in a in a six hundred dollar account. Like I had, a, I had, a, I had a six. I, I fund this count with, think, yes, yeah, six hundred dollars. We looked last week about old videos. Yeah, taking a two hundred dollar loss like that, hundred fifty dollar, hundred sixty dollar loss, man. Nah, man, can't be doing that. So, let me forward wind this, man. I was renting a little bit. So I'm on, I'm up, like I'm up twenty five bucks. So let's, let's trade here. So next trade here. Wait for it. So the next trade here. It's playing a, I think it pops above 50 and I'm playing it back. Or I'm really like, I'm I like, or it stalls out here. I think I, I think I get in a little early. Okay, no. It pops up above 50. They go a little dip back. Got it at 12.45 out ASAP look at that that's a, that is a nice trade man nice trade but 38.25 and that should have been done because I ain't gonna lie, like I was getting the feeling like man I should be quitting and then here goes my down like here, here goes my downfall like this was a definitely a, a definitely a definitely a bad trade this candle this red candle is just too small it hasn't it hasn't really done a move yet I meant too early it hasn't done anything yet let's see it did crack up above 50 and I'm trying to play it back but like, like it, this candle's not big enough to be trying to take a trade off of. This candle, this red candle's not big enough to take a to take a trade in the air like this. So that's what I'm gonna get dumped on. Yeah, twelve forty-five. Just look at the level two. Like you see that it just like that. Like you see that it just dropped ten cents. It's at thirty-three. Look at this. Look, look at level two. Look at this. Look up here. 33. Drop. 10 cents. Like 11 cents. 
Man, I should have got out the stock right there. I should I should have known that was some sorry. That was some weakness. Should have got out. I shouldn't even took that trade. But anyways, it started pushing back up, and I just got out for some of my money, some of it. And I'm up 17 on the day. Like I and I have a rule where I have a rule like I have a rule and I didn't even abide by it. But my rule is if I get green and then my next trade I lose and I lose money, I'm supposed to quit. You know, I'm supposed to quit on the day. I supposed to take the little 17 bucks and run. Like, honestly. Like, I just, like, this whole crap right here, man, I got chopped up, man. Low volume. I got chopped up right here. Jumped in at 12.25. This is just, this is way too early, man. Look how small the 15-minute candle is on here. I should have waited for, like, 12, man. I should have waited down here. I should have waited. I, I I don't really don't take like I don't really enter no position like at twelve twenty five unless it already cracked up and it's coming back like that. Like, this is choppiness, man. Got chopped up. So I'm in at twelve twenty five, high as heck, and it just doesn't move. Just does not move. And I'm so mad because INDP, man, this stock ripped to like $20 a day. Like, I hate when I lose money on a stock that rips. Like, like this, this stock's up 70%. It's going to be like 100%. And now I, was, now I was a loser. Bullshit. So I cut that off. Down 34 bucks now. And that, that I really should be quitting now. But now nah, I'm going to keep trading. Keep trading. Whatever. Tripping, man. So now... Got in here eleven seventy. This was a better trade. It was a way better trade because this fifty minute can is a little bigger. It's a little bigger, but look where I took the trade at though. Like this stock is not at a resistance level. It's not. It's not in the air. It's at a support level. So you want to take trades when the candle is small at support levels. In, in some cases, not all cases. Some cases you gotta look at the chart. But on th in this example, like either I shouldn't have taken the trade. At all on this stock or I should be taking trades down here like what I just did here because this stock started going sideways and that's how I got chopped up like right here this I got chopped up right here yeah so I'm in at 1170 trying to get 1180 200 shares and then when I uh when I uh when I uh re uh reload my account I'm gonna be trading with two to three hundred shares like 200 shares would probably be my starter for my starter size until I get the feel of the market then I jump up to like 300, or I might, or I might just start with 300. Once I make my profit, downsize. I think I think I'm gonna do the, the latter, make my profit then downsize. But really, I don't think I, I don't think I even want to do that, man. I gotta, I can't be taking 300 share size and then trying to downsize to 150 shares, trying to make a trade. I'll get ate up by commissions like this right here, man. Ugh. Man, this is a bad, 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 bad trade. Bad trade. I hate when the level two does this, man. Like it'll it'll drop, and then the bids will just drop. Cause I'm I'm staring at the bids. Usually it'll be like a one cent, two cent spread. It was a five cent spread. The the, the bids drop, and the ads never drop. So I need it. Is my I should be looking at both. I should be getting right here, like right there, eleven ninety seven. Should be getting in right there. Right there. Why well, should have got it that bad? So I would have scalped this. I would have scalped this. 11.97. Here comes 12. I was trying to say, okay. I probably put 12.04 up there or something like that. I, I, I would have got out right there. Boom. I would have got out. Anyway, got dumped on. I think I added I added to my size. But like, and then I, then I got screwed. Like, $97 now. And I got screwed. Like, I, I added to my position. Like, I, I was in a 12.01. And I added like the, my max share size. It only gave me nine shares, but it, but it seemed like it gave me two entries, man. Like it didn't even it, it did not add on to the twelve one. I had like I had like two two trades of the same stock. Some weird stuff. So I'm in nine shares here. This is a stupid trade. Cause like I'm saying, man. Like I don't know if the broker did that or what, but I, they just did, they just basically charged me twice, and they, they didn't put that on my like they opened up a new position for me. So that's like that. So that's another uh, ten dollars. So I took on that that twelve oh one trade, and I sold out. That's ten dollars. And then it, and then I, it gave me a new position with nine shares. 
So I sold, I guess that's another 10 bucks, man. It's bull crap, y'all. So now I'm just trying to get out because I'm like, why the hell I got nine shares? Then it won't let me out for a while. Either I go to market and sell as sell a market order or whatever. So <laughs> now I'm down $87 on the day. $87.72. Yeah. Then um here, I like I like how it's stalling right here. I like how it's stalling here. So I'm I'm going I'm looking for a trade. Only thing that sucks is the 15 minute count is is just going sideways. So this is the up and down type. Of, it's not it's not trending. It's trending up, but then it's going sideways in consolidation. It's gonna go up. But um, yeah, that's one why I don't. That's why it's, this trade is risky, because it's, it's not really up. It's not uptrending right now. Go sideways, consolidate. So I jumped at 1180. It's a very good, get very good entry right here. And I got it at 12 because I knew I'd get a pop at least 12. That's a good entry. And I did 20 cents right here because I knew I was going to get that, that, that pop. That, I needed that pop. I was going for 10 cents here. That This was a, this is like my most confident play here. I knew I was going to get that rip to, uh, rip to 12. Got the rip. Above down fifty four bucks, pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I should, like if I just quit when I was just up seventeen, I wouldn't, I'd be straight. But no, I kept trading. So now it's pushing up, and I, I entered the, the next trade, which is my last trade. Um, it was a very, I got in very, very late. Like you're gonna see, it, you're gonna see, it's gonna put push up to twelve fifty. Then it's gonna wash out basically like the twelve dollar level, twelve thirteen. That's where I tried to get in at. I don't know, I was just I was just too slow. The stock didn't already went up 20, 30 cents from there and I got in real late. See I was pushing up here. I'm letting it push up. So what I want to do, I want to push up some. And look at this washout. Look at this look at this dip. Look at this. It's gonna be good. Be a nice dip. It's right there. Like not even not, not even right there. This would be a better entry than when I was in that. But right here, when it right there, when it was at thirteen, it was very quick, man. But like I wasn't really looking at the level two, and I wasn't really. I didn't think I was gonna get a dip. Like I was looking for a dip like that, but not that quick. Like this is where I should have got in at. You see, but then look at this crap. Look at this. The bid is higher than the ass. Like this is. I don't know, man. This is this is crazy right here, man. This 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 is not supposed to look like this. This is all mixed up, man. This is bull. Like, this should be on that side, and that should be on this side. So then it just, it just squeezes up. I got in so late. I got in 12.35, man. I got it at the top. I got it at the top. I missed the dip. I shouldn't even took this trade. I saw that dip, like, so late, and I was like, oh, it dipped. And I just wanted to get in, and it was just a bad trade. Instantly down. Look at this. Instantly down 20 cents. Oh man. And this 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 is the trade that blew up my account. It, my, my account's really not blown up. I still have like like what four hundred dollars in my account, but I don't I, I lo I lost my margin privileges. That's why I say it's blown up. And I'm not finna trade on one to one, man. I need to have margin. So the next time I, uh, I fund my account again, you know, I got th this the second part of it. I'm just going to work on my life. Right, I need to be getting out for break even. Look at that. I could have got out. Right there, I need to get out. 12 30, 12 30. I need to get out for that right there. And then it just loses it. Now I'm down. But next time I fund my account, man, I'm, I'm working on like, my mindset. Like, when I get these winning trades, I got to keep in mind that, you know, like, I don't have a lot of money in my account. And then I go hit my match loss on the day. $150 match loss on the day. I'm going to move that up to, um, to a hundred dollar max loss. I'm gonna move that up. Look at 161. But yeah, I'm, I need to get my mindset right, man. To where like, yeah, I, I make 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks, like I did last week. You know, keep that money in my pocket, cause that 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 was actually it was growing my account. And I don't know, I got greedy or what, man. You know, just I don't know. I thought I thought I thought I was better than what I I actually am. 
Like, may, like right now, maybe I am just only a, 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 a three trade type of dude right now. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just a forty. I'm a forty dollar trader right now. Until until I get more discipline of taking the same trades in the same spots and waiting. It's all about waiting. That's all it is, man. You just gotta wait. And then I'm I'm keeping some of this in there because the stock actually reverses. Let me see. You know, I don't guess it, but yeah, man. Blew up my account day. It's money games. If you stayed this long, please like and subscribe. And I will be back with my live account. I probably put a thousand in it this time. Thank you.